What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. If you're here, you're probably sick, you're probably feeling under the weather. So I really, really, I'm sorry about that. But in this video, I am going to share with you some of my favorite natural ways that you can help yourself to feel better when that nasty cold strikes. You get those sniffles and you just know that you are in for a week of feeling so bad. Now, I do want to say that this is not a replacement for medical advice. If you do think that something is really off with you or if your symptoms are persisting, please, please do contact a medical professional. So before you even enter the kitchen, there are some really, really easy things that you can do to help yourself to feel better immediately. First thing, boil yourself a hot water bottle. I have to say that one of my favorite things is my hot water bottle when I am feeling unwell. And I do have a little cover that I put on it. His name is Elegant, he's so cute, I absolutely love him. You can get these absolutely anywhere. You can get them in the chemist, you can get them in most shops out there and supermarkets. And it just makes sure that the rubber of the hot water bottle is not coming into direct contact with your skin which can cause injury but if you are suffering from any kind of aches and pains and soreness and you just generally feel cold in your bones a hot water bottle is a great place to start and cuddle up under your blanket the next really simple and easy thing that you can do is to hydrate now I know when you're ill the last thing you want to do is drink water and the last thing that's actually appealing to you is to drink gallons of water especially if it's super cold I know how you feel I absolutely hate it as well what you can do is leave a glass overnight on your counter and it will just heat up to room temperature naturally or of course you can warm it up and the purpose of hydration is to make sure that you keep the lining of those membranes in your nose, in your throat, nice and, I'm gonna say the word, moist. We all just died a little bit inside when I said that, didn't we? I know it's TMI, but the more water you drink and the more hydrated you stay, the better you are going to feel because it is going to keep those membranes moist so that you can alleviate a lot of that horrible congestion. And one of my favorite concoctions to drink when I am feeling sick is of course, lemon and honey. Lemon and honey is amazing if you have a sore throat. Honey contains natural antibacterial properties. I know you've probably heard a lot about Manuka honey, but normal shop-bought honey has the same properties and the same effect. So what I would do is I would squeeze half the juice of a lemon into a cup, pour in some nice hot water. Again, no need for it to be boiling because you will kill off the vitamin C in that lemon juice. And I would pop in about a teaspoon of honey. Now the science behind vitamin C is that it actually can shorten the lifespan of a cold. There isn't much evidence to support the fact that it can prevent the onset of a cold, which is why you are told to dose up on vitamin C once that cold strikes, because it can help to shorten the duration. So I would sip away on a cup of lemon and honey two to three times a day. First thing in the morning is great and the last thing at night to help you wind down and relax. Next up, run a bath. Now this is probably one of the few times that I will advocate for running baths, but I think that when you are feeling unwell, baths definitely have merit. And what I would do is pop in one of my favorite bath bombs, something that's really soothing. So my favorite recipe for bath bombs is in the description box down below if you would like to make your own, or you could even make bath salts. But my favorite ingredients in my bath bombs are lavender essential oil for relaxation. So you're getting the benefit of those essential oils as you soak in that bath, your skin is going to absorb the oils. You are going to also get the benefit of the aromatherapy. If you want something that's going to help clear congestion and make you feel a little bit fresh, I will go for something like a eucalyptus oil. Again, anything with menthol, you know, similar to a piece of gum is going to help you clear out your system. And my other favorite ingredient in my bath bombs is Epsom salt. Epsom salt is widely used in the sports industry to help alleviate muscle pain, muscle aches. And I have often used it when I've had any muscle pain or soreness after the gym and it does work wonders. And on the note of a steamy bath, another way that you can get really great relief if you have any sinus blockages or if you're suffering from a blocked nose is to create yourself 
a steam bath. And you can do this simply by getting a basin with some boiling water, a towel, popping your head over that basin to create a, almost a vacuum of steam. Mint oil, thyme oil, eucalyptus oil are all going to add to that feeling of relief. And I should also say another reason why I absolutely love the steam bath is because when you're feeling unwell, you can feel like your skin is really suffering as well. And that steam is really, really brilliant at opening up your pores and generally helping you to feel and look more fresh. And on the note of stuffiness and congestion, another brilliant way to get some sort of relief, at least so that you can fall asleep, is to elevate yourself. Prop another pillow onto your bed when you're going to sleep at night. This elevation allows things to flow a little bit more freely and might give you the relief that you need to just allow you to get some sleep, which is a lot of the time what you're lacking when you're coughing all the time or when you're stuffy, you just can't relax. I think stuffiness seems to be one of the biggest issues. Sore, blocked sinuses, blocked nose, runny nose, it's all, it's all horrific let's be honest but I think when you can't breathe it's one of the worst symptoms of a cold that you could possibly have and so I find that if you're blowing your nose a lot it can get really really irritated so even to ease that irritation pop some Vaseline which is also called petroleum jelly depending on where you are in the world onto the ends of your nose it might look a little bit strange like a little bit glossy and a little bit odd but you are going to get the benefits because your nose will not be red raw and sore and quite obvious that you have a cold to people who look at you. So another great way to reduce that irritation is to get yourself a nice hanky. Make it from some scrap material that you have at home, just something soft that you can throw in the washing machine that isn't going to cause that irritation on the ends of your nose and make you feel and look a whole lot worse than you need to. Let's talk about some things that you may already have in your kitchen that can really help you fight off that nasty cold. I know I've already mentioned lemon and honey, but the first thing that I would go for is a salt water rinse, really as basic as it can possibly get. If you are suffering from a sore throat, mix a teaspoon of salt, any kind of salt that you have at home, in half a cup of warm water, mix it up to dissolve it, and just gargle with that salt water three to four times a day. I actually do this when I have wisdom tooth pain because it stops any inflammation or infection from getting in as my teeth are kind of pushing their way up, which happens quite regularly. I find the salt water really, really helps. It works by osmosis. If anybody remembers their school days, we learned all about osmosis and it basically draws the moisture out of any kind of bacterial cell to kill off the bacteria. So that's a great way to try and naturally treat a sore throat. Another way to tackle a sore throat is a bit odd, and please make sure that you don't have any kind of big event planned if you're gonna try this method, is to chew on a raw clove of garlic. So you can either chew and swallow that raw piece of garlic, or you can suck on it for 15 minutes. It contains a compound called allicin, which is antibacterial, antimicrobial. It sounds odd, but garlic has been known for thousands of years for its medicinal properties. The third thing I would do is apple cider vinegar. Now I know you're looking at me and just thinking, I hate apple cider vinegar, I just, I can't do it, don't even go there. And believe me, I am with you on that one. I've actually started to make my own homemade apple cider vinegar because I just find the potency to be a lot less and I can actually take a tablespoon of it without feeling like I want to get sick everywhere. It's really, really acidic. Of course, it's a vinegar, it's going to be. So naturally, it is going to have positive antibacterial effects on the body, but if you can't stomach it raw on the spoon, what I would do is mix it either in some apple juice, some orange juice, pineapple juice, all of those juices are really, really great if you can't handle the taste, or you could mix it into half a cup of water just to lessen the taste a little bit, and you can either gargle with it or swallow it whole. If, again, you really can't handle the spoon, you can't handle it in the water, you could add it to your salad as a dress Thing. That is another way that I really like to get my apple cider vinegar in. Next then, if you find that you are coughing an awful, awful lot and you literally just can't handle the pain or can't handle that scratchiness anymore, one thing that I would definitely reach for is a clove tea. Now, before I get a little bit more into the clove tea, I do just want to say that coughing is our body's natural response to an irritant in our chest. We are meant to be coughing, which is why I don't like these shop-bought products that encourage us to cough less. So that's why I find clove tea to be particularly beneficial. So we're all familiar with cloves. They're a very widely used and widely available spice. I absolutely love them, especially in cooking and especially around Christmas time. Cloves just seem to be everywhere. 
but they contain a compound called eugenol and it is incredibly beneficial when you have a cold. So eugenol is antibacterial and it is also an expectorant, which means that it loosens up again this word mucus that is trapped inside so that you can expel it a lot better. The way I like to make this is to boil up some water, pop five to six full cloves into a tea strainer and I'll just allow those cloves to sit in the boiling water and all of those oils will just release into the water. And when you drink this, you can actually feel the oils start to coat your throat. It's very soothing, it's very relaxing. You won't stop coughing completely, but it does ease the pain of a cough, the grittiness of a cough. And if you don't really love the flavor of clove tea, you can go ahead and add some spices, add some ginger, add some lemon, add some honey, make it more palatable for you. Another tea that I find really, really nice when the cold strikes is ginger tea. Now you can actually slice this up and just pop boiling water into your cup, or you can do what I do, which is to grate the ginger into the cup because I just find it releases more of those antibacterial properties. You've probably heard of ginger tea also being used to ease an upset stomach. So if you're feeling anyway nauseous along with your cold symptoms, then ginger is a really nice way to just settle your stomach down. So along with all of these natural remedies and natural methods of making yourself feel better, I would also make sure that you are eating a diet rich in fruits and veggies, all of those good minerals and vitamins to help you make it through that cold and help your body to fight off any kind of infection or viruses that it is dealing with. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. I hope you feel better. And if you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Please don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss any more of my videos. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.